This video is sponsored by Regin Dojo, which offers training courses for Regin and technical art from veterans of the industry. Head over to Regin Dojo to find more about it. Alright guys, so welcome back. And today I want to talk to you about custom languages running inside Maya. Right? And what I mean exactly by that, and how is to deal with that, and so on. So let me just first start to see, to show you what I have in this scene, right? So basically, move this locator in the Z direction and my ball moves up, all right? So you might say, all right, that's trivial to do, but let's see actually how I'm doing it, all right? So let's remove the crap. So here I have my input. I have a custom node, which is running my custom language inside, and then it spits out an output, all right? So let me actually see, show you how it actually works. So I have a simple line of code that was basically extract the code from inside the node that you see is plain source code, all right? Nothing fancy about it. And the syntax is the same as C++, right? Now let's see what happens. So if we change that from minus and let's say compile, all right? It did compile, and we see that now, basically, my Z, my input, is going to be negated and spit out as an output, all right? That's what the code is doing, right? So grab the input, put it negative, and then change that, right? But we can change completely what we want to do here, right? For example, we might want to use um, the function from C, right? The cosine of that. So we are going to uh, extern that, define as an extern. So float, uh, oops, sorry. Cosine f, uh, float a, right? And then we're going to use it, right? So we're just going to return, all right, result is equal to cos f of a. So we are going to grab the input and compute cosine out of that, right? So we completely changed the meaning of our code, right? what is getting executed. And we can have some more complex stuff, like for example, we can do something like uh, if b, so if b is equal to zero, we are going to do the cosine. So sorry, the indenting is horrible, uh, because like this is a simple widget I grabbed. It's just pretty much a line edit with some syntax I like, so it text edit. Um, and then instead we do result equal to sine f of a. Of course, we need to extern that. Plot sine of f plot a. All right. So we compile it. Looks like we don't have no errors. So here, let's see what is computing. So we see that when we are at zero, it's computing zero, and that is because our input here is zero, so the equation, uh, sorry, comparison with zero, say, okay, compute the sign. If we change that to one, we see that now the ball sits at one, because that's the cosine uh, of zero, right? And of course, we can, we can keep going like that uh, as much as we like, right? So we increase the amount, we can combine that, all right? So we could, could combine a and B to make a spiral, right? So it goes up in a spiral, uh, or stuff like that. Um, so it's um, what it lets you do is pretty much lets you write your own code. It's going to compile that on the fly and evaluate that, right? And that's the main feature of that, right? Because you might say, all right, I can do the same exact thing with with a Python expression, with a male expression. Sure, this is going to be much faster because it's going to be compiled on the fly, use the LLVM, you can have a ridiculous amount of optimization and basically it's going to run a native speed, all right? Uh, it's not interpreted, there is no weird stuff, it's, it's like C++, so it's getting compiled to native uh, code and getting executed, right? So now it's still really early stages, but you can see already that it's functioning. And in the next video, I'm going videos, I'm going to talk a lot more on how it works in details, what I'm actually doing, uh, how I did implement my own language, and so on. 
Uh, but this was just to give you an idea of what I'm be working on, right? And you can find the code, it's actually open source, you can find it uh, on GitHub, it's called Baby C++. And there is a GIF here showing, for example, uh, system JIT compiling, so just-in-time compilation, I can actually use my language as a REPL, right? Here I'm declaring two functions and then I'm calling one from inside the other, kind of like you were evaluating Python from, uh, from a command line, right? Then you can do the same when I run it, when I declare a function, it's getting compiled and then I just call it, right? Um, so this is the early stages, as I said before. Uh, I plan to do some more work on this. First of all, the language still needs to be extended. There is so much to do still. Uh, right now, I'm adding extra extra support for some features like pointers, the instruct. Uh, once I have that, I will be able to do much more interesting stuff like a deformer. Am I a deformer? And from there, I should be able to build a visual graph to actually build the code and then should actually remind you of a recent uh, a product that recently went out of support um, basically doing the same thing alright so if you're interested about this stay tuned I'm going to disclose a lot more information on the process what was hard what was easy um, and keep up to date all my information about uh, the development right so hope you liked Share and subscribe as usual. Uh, see you in the next videos, guys.